Hey, this is Joe Gilder from Personas. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Melodyne Essential, which comes included with Studio One Professional, to create your own vocoder effect. This idea came to me a couple of years ago. I was producing an EP for a friend of mine, and one of the songs had, for the first verse, was just a very simple piano part and a vocal. She said she wanted some sort of vocoder sound. Now, I didn't have a vocoder plug-in, and before running out and buying one, I thought I'd try to just make one from scratch. So I sat down one morning in my living room with my laptop, a single vocal track and Melodyne Essential, and this is what I came up with. Tonight is when I needed you Cause you're the only one who The way I tick and crumble You made my world seem normal I don't use effects like this all that often. I'm a big fan of background vocals where you record 6, 8, 12 or more different vocal tracks that blend together to create something cool. But what I did with this song was I used a single vocal and kept duplicating it and processing it differently to create a very different sound from your typical background vocal sound. Now, rather than talking about it, let's just do it. I'm going to dive in with a different vocal from a different song and build it out with you in this video. Okay, let's dive in. A very fair and obvious question would be, Joe, why not just buy the vocoder plug-in, dummy? Well, I just... Maybe you can relate to this. I like the challenge of seeing what I can do given the tools that I have available right now. And it worked out this time. Sometimes it doesn't. But uh, let me show you. Let's try to build this again from scratch using one of my songs. So here's the bridge section of my song, Fighter. And I never was much of a fighter. And I never was. Seems like a cool spot to try this out. So first thing I'm going to do is isolate this vocal. So it's this section right here. So I'm gonna copy that down to a brand new track, okay? And then we're gonna deal primarily just with this track that we see here. This, uh, we'll call it Vocoder 1. Uh, and we'll kind of duplicate from here. So the first thing I'm gonna do now, I guess not the first thing, second thing, is just get rid of everything so we can see things a little more clearly. All right, so the first, the vocoder tracks, we'll turn those purple just so we kind of know which is which. This is the main vocal that remains unchanged, and now we're going to get into vocoding. So one of the things that'll happen, we can hit Command-M, and we can bring up Melodyne. Melodyne will do its analysis, um, and we can open it up. Come on. Uh, go away. And we can do our tuning on this. The problem is, when we if we duplicate this to the next track, it's going to save those Melodyne settings in in the like region itself, which is what you want. If I sing a background vocal and I tune it, and then I want to fly that over to the second and third choruses, I want the tuning to go with it. So that makes sense. So we have to kind of trick Melodyne into thinking it's a new piece of audio every time. So the way we do that is every time we duplicate it, we, we bounce it. So Command B uh, will bounce this as a new audio file. So I'm going to leave the first one there. Uh, we're going to duplicate this track. And I'm going to copy this to the next track. And then I'm going to bounce this one. So it doesn't seem like it did anything, but we bounced those to kind of brand new audio files. So now when I go to hit Command-M on the first one, you can see the Melodyne notes showed up here. They did not show up here, so I can tune them separately. So what are we doing here? Melodyne obviously is going in. It's analyzing the notes. And then it's it's tuning them, right? Now, what we want to do is go, we don't want it to be natural, we want it to really sound unnatural. So I'm going to solo this one right here. Uh, and this vocal was already kind of tuned for the song, but we're going to go overboard with it now. So I'm going to use all the automatic settings, pitch center all the way to the middle, pitch drift all the way to the middle, and hit OK. Now we're going to listen to it and make it sound as kind of as robotic as possible, and then we're going to start duplicating this out and adding different notes and kind of creating harmonies from scratch with this. So here we go. Much of a fighter. Now, first thing I want to do is just make sure that I'm getting the the notes that I need. So that, that'll take just a second. Much of a fighter. And I never was. Uh, so that's technically a couple different notes here. There we go. 
much of a fighter. As is that one. Was, uh, and I never was. Doing that same thing when I do that little da da da. It's not splitting those out. Was, much of a fighter. And I never was much of a fighter. Uh, uh, much of a fighter. All right, so this note slides up, so I don't want that one to be tuned. Uh, all right, so I'm going to select all the notes except for that one and just tune it again because some of those ones that I adjusted did not get tuned. Include fine tuned notes. All right, so this is kind of our baseline for the vocoder. It has just been fairly heavily tuned. And I never was. So now we can take that and let that kind of be our baseline. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Command B and bounce this out. So now it is printed. We can't get back to that original audio now, which I kind of like, versus using the, using the restore functionality that Melodyne gives us. So now I want to copy this down. So I'm going to grab it and just hold down Option, copy that down. I'm going to hit Bounce on this one. We're continually bouncing it, which is weird, but it works. All right, now let's Melodyne this track. So now what I want to do is just, um, first I want to listen to how the original one sounds against the raw vocal. So here it is. And I never was much of a fighter. So you see how just by tuning them slightly differently, we get this crazy phasing sound. And I never was. So you're hearing a kind of tuned vocal paired up with a perfectly tuned vocal, like aggressively tuned vocal, um, and there's this little bit of difference in phasing. That's kind of the sound we want, but now we want to do it with multiple notes. So now's the fun part. We can come in and open up this second one, and, I never and we can select everything and just maybe move it up a third and then adjust the individual notes. Let's see, let's try here. And I never was much of a fighter. Now, all those notes, most of those notes are wrong, but you get the idea. So I could select, actually see if we can get the whole kit and caboodle in here. Did I just say kit and caboodle? I did. I don't even know what that means. Um, so it's saying, and I never was. so that's going up to the, there we go. And I never was much of a fighter. <laughs> and that last one needs to be a minor. So we'll just bring all these notes down. Much of a fighter, and I never was much of a fighter, and I never was much of a fighter. So now we have two. So what can we do now? Well, we can just kind of keep going. We can duplicate this track. Uh, complete, and we can bounce this one. So now it's co it's committed, and then we could take this one and we could even detune it a little bit. No, let's just let's find our third part, and then we can figure out if we want to do anything stereo. All right, so now we got this third one. Let's go. Let's go to a lower harmony this time. So I'm gonna select everything, and I never was. I never was. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> it's totally not the right harmonization, but uh, let's listen for a second. Hold on. Let's try to take this one just up another third to start uh, and just see. So the chord is is a D minor. So let's just go up to... So it's going to be too much, but I want to try it. We'll take all these notes down. Half step. So we can take all of these notes and take them down a full step. Fighter. 
And these top notes can come down a half step, I think. Okay, those don't need to move, so they need to stay on the same note. Much of a fighter, and I never was much of a fighter, and I never was. That's cool. Okay, so now I'm starting to hear more harmony, so we're going to keep repeating this process, um, and I love it. Okay, so let's uh, let's duplicate. What's the pre duplicate track complete? Uh, and let's bounce this one. So now we have something new here. No, I didn't want to do that. Um, I want to bounce this, this one. And now I want to have one that just stays on that A the whole time. Okay, so we're going to go take each note here. And it's going to kind of repeat. It's similar to what the last harmony was doing. But we're going to just make every note an A. Um, again, you could do this if you could just play keyboards in a vocoder plug-in of some sort, but this is kind of fun too. So we pull this up here. We're basically saying every note, we'll even make this one. It's going to sound weird. It's not going to sound natural, which of course is the whole point. So this one goes. And I never was much of a fighter. That's a fighter. Split this one up. Okay. And never was much of a fighter. And never was. Let's see if we can even tighten up the drift even more. There we go. Include notes, fine tune manually, get the pitch all the way to the center. And I never was much of a fighter. And I never was much of a fighter. <laughs> it's so fun. Uh, that's really cool. So now we've got. And I never was much of a fighter. Now, if the song called for it and lended itself to it, you could then, you know, make even more dissonant harmonies. Uh, one thing we could do is just take these two high ones and pan them left and right to give it just a little more than a mono sound that it has. And I never was much of a fighter. And we could even add in like a bass line if we wanted. So let's let's duplicate this first one to follow what's happening in the bass. Um, so let's melodyne that. Um, and we'll bring the whole thing back down to like here. <laughs> and I never was much of a fighter and I never was much of a fighter actually <laughs> I love that. I was going to go for a bass line, but just the low octave was super cool. Super cool. And I never was much of a fighter. And then let's take this high drony one, vocoder four, uh, the one where we left it all at the same note, and let's melodyne it again. And then we can just pull the pitch all the way down. Now, you could just do the transpose thing in Studio One. But I kind of, I'm kind of curious how it works with, uh, with... Melodyne does something a little bit different, it feels like. And I never was much of a fighter. And I never was much of a 
fighter And I never was My type of fighter And I never was My type of fighter Anyway, you get the idea. Hopefully I excited you. If you've got a song that just needs something different on a part for a vocal, don't overdo it. Don't do it in every song. Like I said, I've done it in maybe one song in the last five years this exact way. Um, but it could be, maybe this turns into a cool loop that you build the song around. Or you go from having it be a big kind of halftime breakdown like this to just being a pad and vocals. That could be kind of interesting. And I never was much of a fighter. It's creepy, it's weird, it's not clean, certainly. And then you could add, you know, add a chorus on top of that to make it even crazier and do all kinds of things. But that is my crazy attempt to DIY vocoder. Uh, if you have Studio One Pro, you've got Melodyne Essential, which is incredibly powerful, uh, considering it feels like a freebie. Um, go try it on something like this. Maybe you've never tried to use it in a more creative way. It's really fun, and you'd be surprised at the kind of stuff you can come up with. My name's Joe from Personas. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll have more videos coming at you. Thanks for watching. See ya. Shring. Meow. Whoop.